Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my July wrap up and my August TBR. So this is being uploaded a lot later than I thought I was going to be up I was going to be able to upload it, but I was on vacation in South Carolina the past couple of weeks. So, I am finally getting this up. If you know, it's the second week in August, so I'm very sorry about the lack of videos, but I w again, I was on vacation. So, I will be back into my normal schedule now that I'm back. So, yeah, um, so um, let's start with my July TBR. I only wrote, uh, read four books, but again, I have been working on my first book, which, like I mentioned in my uh, June wrap-up, I believe, or my July TBR, if you guys have watched those videos. So, um, the four books I read in the month of July are all part of the same series. So, the first book was the Peru's Utopia Book Club Book of the Month for the month of July, and that was Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Uh, Harry Potter is my favorite series of all time, and I was very excited um, that uh, Reagan and Sasha uh, chose the Sorcerer's Stone as our book club book of the month because I have been a fan of Harry Potter for like five years now. I was really late to jump on the bandwagon to become a fan of the series, but I really love it. Um, this is my actually was my fifth time uh, rereading the series. I just love it so much. So Sorcerer's Stone is obviously the first book in the series. If you guys don't know what Harry Potter is about, which you all should because it's such a major uh, series these days. It is about a boy wizard named Harry Potter, um, and he grew up uh, not knowing he was a wizard. His parents were killed by the Dark Lord Voldemort when he was a baby, and he grew up living with his aunt and uncle um, for the first 11 years of his life, uh, not knowing he was a wizard. And then uh, the Gamekeeper of Hogwarts, which is the uh, magical school wizard, which Captain Wizardry, which, um, his name is Hagrid. He comes and rescues Harry Potter and Harry and his friends Ron and Hermione go on all sorts of amazing adventures for all, all seven, now technically eight books. Um, so this one is a great book, great series, even though it is middle grade. I read a lot of young adult, but again, I love this series and I gave this book a five out of five stars. So the second book in that series is obviously The Chamber of Secrets. I uh, also gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. I loved it again. Um, love the character development. Everything was just perfect about this series. Uh, about this book, excuse me. And uh, yeah, that's what I gave it. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars again. Uh, the third book in the series is The Prisoner of Azkaban. And this is a lot of people's favorite book in the series, and I can definitely see why. Um, and there's a bookmark in it because my mom is actually really uh, reading the series for the first time and she's loving it. So she is on The Prisoner of Azkaban. Um, and I give this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. It was a little bit slow for me, but again, I really love it. And yeah. And the last book I read in the month of July was the final or fourth book in the Harry Potter series, which is The Goblet of Fire. And this is a really old copy, so it is kind of falling apart on the sides. But I've had this book for years, along with the entire rest of the series. So that is why it looks a little bit battered up. But again, love this book a lot. Uh, and I give this a 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. So I will have reviews up for those books coming in the next couple of days. I'm probably going to get um, The Sorcerer's Stone up on Friday, and uh, the Chamber of Secrets will probably be coming out either Sunday or next Monday. So be on the lookout for those. And now we are moving on to my August TBR. Now, if you guys have watched my videos for the past couple months or have looked on my blog where I post my August and July, I have my monthly re uh, wrap-ups on my blog as well, which is linked in the description box below. Um, I usually get into really big monthly TBRs. Like, I had a, like, 10 book, um, TBR for the month of July, I think, and then, um, I think it was either June or, uh, May, I had a 14 book, uh, TBR. So, this month, the ne the books I'm reading this month, um, some of them I don't, I only have two that are, I don't have on me, or actually three, excuse me, because one has, is coming in the mail. Um, they're all pretty big books, so I decided I'm just going to give it myself a smaller book, um, TBR for this month. I gave myself, I think, seven books, which is still a lot, but it's more 
or less than I usually have on my monthly TBRs. So the first book I am reading right now, I am continuing on with Harry Potter this month as well. So I am reading The Order of the Phoenix right now. I am about 100, 150 pages into this book. I love it so much. And again, I will have reviews on all of these books once I am done with them on my blog and on my channel. So be on the lookout for all the reviews. Um, so I will be reading that this month. I will, following that, I will be reading my favorite book in the Harry Potter series, which is The Half-Blood Prince. This is number six. Uh, obviously, the uh, Order of the Phoenix is number five. I love The Half-Blood Prince. This is my favorite book in the series. Um, it's also my favorite movie in the movie series. I think it's an excellent book. Highly recommend it. Um, once you get to the sixth book, it's so good. I love this book so much. So I will be reading that as well. The next book, in, in the last book um, I have with me is the seventh book in the Harry Potter series, which is The Deathly Hallows. Um, again, this is the conclusion book, or it was the conclusion book, I should say, um, to the series. And, you know, I actually did not finish this book the first couple of times I read it because it is gigantic. It's huge. Um, and I was borrowing it from my local library, so I never did finish it. But I finally got my hands on a physical copy um, just a few weeks ago. So, yay! So, I will be reading that. And the next book in the, in my TBR is one I don't have with me, but it is coming in the mail. I'm super excited to read, read it because it is part of, it's kind of part of the Harry Potter series. That is The Cursed Child, which is the new... It's not technically a book, it is a script for the play that comes out in London, England. Um, but that is coming in the mail. I'm super excited to read it. I know it has kind of mixed reviews right now, but I think I will like it, even though the reviews aren't as great as I thought they were. But I will be reading that, and I'm super excited to read it. So then, going on with my TBR, I only have a few more books. Um, so the next two books are by the same author. Um, and the first book is The Demigod Diaries by Rick Riordan. Um, this is a companion book. It's like a bunch of short stories to the Percy Jackson and the Olympians series. And I have wanted to start Heroes of Olympus since I finished the Percy Jackson and the Olympians series. And I actually got this from my cousin, um, who owns like every book Rick Riordan has ever own uh, written. So I have this. I also have the Demigod Files. I don't know if I'll end up reading that, but I have that somewhere. Um, I might end up reading that this month, but I'm not quite sure. But I will be reading this in probably the next couple of days. Um, I'm not sure if I'll do a review on that book because it is so short. Um, but we'll see. And the next book, um, it's also by Rick Riordan, and it is The Lost Hero. This is the first book in the Heroes of Olympus series. This is the sequel series to Percy Jackson. Super excited to start this series. They're a little bit older. They're my, about my age. I think they're 16, 17 in this book, and I'm 19, so they're around my age now, which is really good because that was one of my worries when I read Percy Jackson because they're a lot younger in that series. But super excited to read this, and I will have a review of it very, very soon. And finally, the next two books I actually don't have physical copies of, um, but the First book is Game of Thrones by George R. 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 Martin. I've been wanting to read Game of Thrones for a couple of years now, um, and I wanted to watch the TV show. I haven't watched the TV show because I haven't read the books, but I really want to read the t books and watch the TV show, so I will be reading that this month, or trying to read it, I should say, because, it, again, it's a pretty big book. Um, and the last book I will be reading this month is The Peru's Utopia Book Club Book of the Month for the month of August. And that book is Baby Doll by Holly Overton, I think. It's a, like a thriller mystery type book. And I don't usually read those type of books. But I might as well give it a try because it is the book club book of the month. So I will be reading that. So that is all the books I will be reading in the month of August and what I read in the month of July. I hope you guys enjoyed this book. If you did, or if you <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys for my next video very, very soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!